Uh, thank you so much for coming, guys. My name is David, uh, and I have a little um, artisanal pencil sharpening business that I started about a year and a half ago. Uh, I was working for the United States Census Bureau, uh, the 2010 Census. I was a door knocker, uh, and I was uh, happy to do that because, as you all know, the Census is a government conspiracy to take guns away from white people, and I support that endeavor. Uh, on the first day of our Census training, we were all handed a supply bag. And in amidst all the forms and clipboards and stuff that we would use in our day-to-day -day door knockings, uh, there was a bundle of government-issued number two pencils and a tiny, bright pink, single-blade pocket pencil sharpener. So for me, actually, it had been a long, long time since I had sharpened a pencil. Um, but I found it very satisfying, and I realized uh, with some bit of pride that I had the sharpest pencils of anyone in my census group. And I told myself that this is a very satisfying activity, and I would like to get paid to do it. I knew that I had to wear a black smock, because already you can tell that there, I'm projecting now this aura of kind of hard scrabble authenticity. And you people are all now very self-conscious about your jobs at Condé Nast and uh, your electric pencil sharpeners that are shadowing your desks and things like that, but it's fine because I'm not here to actually judge you, I'm here to help you. Because you want the pencil to look so fucking sharp that everyone's getting goosebumps and they don't even want to sleep in the same room with it. And on the <laughs> other hand, your pencil has to be sound structurally, so that if they ever do take the pencil out of the display case and try to write a love letter or a note to the cable company or whatever, those are usually the same things in my life, but uh, you want to make sure that when they try to use it, it actually works and maintains its point, right? The pencil tip, as opposed to the pencil point, I define as that mark-making surface furthest from the eraser. I fucking own this topic now, guys. I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> Yes. How do you feel about uh, maybe like a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil? Oh, you know what? This is a great opportunity for me to read to you a final chapter from my book this evening. This is called Chapter... Wait, hold on. Chapter 11. A few words about mechanical pencils. <laughs> Would you like to hear this chapter, young man? Yes, please. Here is the text of chapter 11 in its entirety. Chapter 11, a few words about mechanical pencils. Mechanical pencils are bullshit. <laughs> Next question.